Hello, this is a video I am making to accompany a blog series I am writing called VP of Emacs. In this video, I want to show a few of the ways that I use Emacs as a plain text wiki to store knowledge about my job and to form connections between related ideas that make up the aspects of my job. So what I'm looking at here on the left side of this screen is an Emacs window with a org file open that corresponds to a person named Jane Doe. So this is an org roam note and there's some contextual information about Jane written right into her page. I have a description of who she is and I have some contact information and some personal information about her. And this is typical for me uh, in my job, for each of the people who report to me, I'll have a page. Actually, each, each of the people I work with regularly will have a page like this that acts as a hub for everything I know about that person or even every interaction I've had with that person. So what OrgRoom gives you is a way to jump around. So I have a link here in, in this page to another OrgRoom page. Uh, called VP of Emacs, and this is a page that has more information about this blog series. And you can see on the right side over here, there's this backlinks menu where you can see everywhere that the VP of Emacs blog has been mentioned. So there's four links here. One of them, back to Jane Doe, and I can hit this button to go back to Jane Doe's page. And here I am. And then if I open up the backlinks for her, I can see that she's mentioned on a daily notes page for tomorrow. And it says, hey, make a video for Jane Doe. And I can see the contents of that notes. And that's the outline for the video I'm making right now. Um, so that's how you jump around. And you can really connect notes in a way that you can discover later. And this comes in really handy at like performance review time or when you're trying to remember some conversation you had with Jane three weeks ago and what was it you guys talked about? Well, you can go to her page and then try to scan that right side list of backlinks. There might be hundreds of them, but you can go to the bottom of it and see the most recent and you can navigate to that and see that information and remember something that you might have forgotten. And it's, it's kind of magical. Um, when that happens, and, and uh, I've really found that it augments my own brain in a way that is really useful for making me better at my job. There's one other feature I wanted to show, which is capture templates. So one of the ways I use capture templates in org mode is to make meeting notes for one-on-ones with a report. So here I am in Jane's page. And if I have a meeting with her today um, that I want to prepare for a little bit, I can hit space X and O for one-on-one. -on -one, and that will enter in a date tree into Jane's page. And it's organized by year, month, and day. And I can, you can see that this is a feature of org. You can collapse parts of the page. So if I don't want to, if I don't want to see all that other stuff, and I just want to see today's note, I can do that um, by folding the outlines in the org roam. So this date tree, it inserted that in, and then I can add some information like, hey, I want to talk to you about your promotion that's upcoming. And then after Jane and I talk, I can take notes right here in this page. And like, let's say one of the things that came out of that discussion is I need to email HR about a salary change. Well, here I have an action item that when I come to Jane's page, I can see if there's outstanding things I need to do before the next time we talk. And let's say I do get it done, I can mark it done. And then the next time I have a meeting with Jane, I can tell her that I did that. Hey, that salary change is coming. So that entered a page for today, but sometimes I have a meeting several days from now and maybe I want to capture stuff I want to talk to Jane about throughout the week. Well, I can come to her page and I can hit space U, one space X, 
and then O for one on one. And I know that's a lot, but it becomes muscle memory after a while. And you can actually customize it with some Emacs list if you want to make that a simpler shortcut. Uh, and then what that does though, that extra set of key characters that I hit, is it makes that command for entering in a capture template prompt you for a date that you want to insert that into the date tree. And I can type a date here, I can select one from those little calendars that are showing up on the bottom, or I can just type Monday. And what that will do is it'll automatically select next Monday. And if I hit enter, it's going to enter that one-on-one -on -one note template into a section for next Monday. And I can write whatever I want here. It's like, yeah, talk about that salary change. Uh, and you can add multiple items, you can nest them, uh, all sorts of stuff. But this is how I use capture templates to do something custom for my workflow. This is how I use Org Roam to capture information about people that I can discover later. This is how I keep track of all of my one-on-one -on -one meetings in my daily job. I hope this is useful for you. I hope you'll use it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, you can reach out to me at my email. It's on my blog. Thanks for watching.